Welcome to our continuing series on questions and answers from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother. Today's subject is Peace, Part 2 from the Mother. It is only in peace and calm that the divine force expresses itself and acts. 26 June 1967 The more a person is quiet in front of all occurrences, equal in all circumstances, and keeps a perfect mastery of himself and remains peaceful in the presence of whatever happens, the more he has progressed towards the goal. Be quiet always, calm, peaceful, and let the force work in your consciousness to the transparency of a perfect sincerity. 6th June 1937 It is only in quietness and peace that one can know what is the best thing to do. 3rd November 1937 it is not in the outward circumstances that you must look for quietness. It is from inside yourself, deep inside. The being there is a peace that brings quietness in the whole being down to the body if we allow it to do so. It is that peace you must seek and then you will get the quietness you wish for. The peace must be immense, the quietness deep and still, the calm unshakable and the trust in the divine ever increasing. It is by a quiet, strong and persistent peace that the true victories can be won. It is only in tranquility and peace that one can know what is the best thing to do. 21st October 1972 my little mother, peace, peace, give me your unalloyed peace and make me conscious of you. Peace be with you, my child, the peace of certitude and of confidence in my love, which never leaves you, your mother. 16th March 1934 Yes, my dear child, it is entirely possible and since you want it sincerely, it will come to be so. You will feel yourself always close to my heart, cradled in my arms and peace will fill your being and make you strong and joyful. Love from your mother. 29th March 1934 My sweet mother, disciple, may peace be with me always, mother. Peace, peace in your heart and your vital. Yes, peace, light, force and bliss 
are always with you in the consciousness that is constantly by your side, bringing you the solicitude of my love. 9th April 1934 My dear little child, I constantly envelop you in my peace. You must learn to keep it. I am constantly in your heart. You must become conscious of my presence and receive and use the force that I am pouring into you to enable you to overcome all difficulties. Love. 21 May 1934